Indian shells found in the arsenal of the Ukrainian armed forces. Russians are in shock. Indian made 155mm M107 shells were found in service of the Ukrainian military in the military operational zone. This was reported by the Telegram channel Military Informant. It is noted that this is not the first time that Indian equipment has been noticed at the disposal of the armed forces of Ukraine. Officially, Delhi denies supplying weapons to Kyiv. However, as the channel emphasizes, the shells could have entered the Northeast military district zone through Western countries. India has a large arsenal of artillery shells, which can significantly reduce the shortage experienced by the Ukrainian army. However, their supply volumes remain unknown. These shells are compatible with the AHS Crab self-propelled howitzers supplied to Ukraine by Poland. The process and timeline of Ukraine acquiring these Indian shells remain a mystery. District shipment from New Delhi to Kyiv or indirect acquisition through intermediaries are both possibilities. This strategy would enable India to preserve its amicable relations with Russia and at the same time Ukraine would be in possession of ammunition from a Russian affiliate. In light of the present state of affairs, indirect procurement through a third party could be a viable option. The US, in all probability, is the country that procured the 155mm ammunition and has since transported it to Ukraine. This reasoning is backed by an announcement last October from the US highlighting its intent to boost global 155mm artillery ammunition production. Earlier, it became known that NATO defense ministers agreed on a plan to transfer control of armed supplies to Ukraine to the alliance. Alliance Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg stated that these actions do not make NATO a party to the conflict, but they strengthen the alliance's support for Ukraine. Later information emerged that NATO countries were planning to supply Ukraine with more shotguns designed to combat unmanned aerial vehicles. A major fire broke out at the Platon Research Institute in Fryazino, Moscow region, Russia. People trapped inside the burning building, according to Russian telegram channels. At least nine people killed. The regional governor Andrei Vorobiev said in a post on the social platform Telegram that oxygen tanks stored in the building exploded, causing some ceilings to collapse. He said offices in the building were rented by 30 different companies, including the Platon Research Institute, which produces electronics. The video shows several building floors engulfed in flames, with thick black smoke billowing from the windows. Russian telegram channels report that, according to preliminary information, the fire started on the fifth and sixth floors in the offices of the planning and design department. It is worth noting that Platon is an enterprise in the radio electronic defense industry. According to online sources, the company develops electron beam devices, semiconductor lasers, and liquid crystal displays. Russian newspaper Commerçant was more descriptive, saying the institute develops equipment used by Russia's military, including in fighter jets, bombers and helicopters, as well as in missiles, all types of nuclear submarine missile carriers, long-range radar and anti-aircraft missile systems. Commerçant said the company was created to develop electron beam devices for radar and space technology, mainly for defense purposes. Recently, a fire occurred in Moscow at the building of the Sukhoi Design Bureau. The roof collapsed due to intense flames. In mid-April, a fire broke out at the Avangard plant in Moscow. It is part of the Almazanti Aerospace Defense Concern.